Hey, welcome to the buddy stand. Uh, springtime here in Ohio. I think we're gonna uh, put in a little food plot. Just in the woods here. We're not gonna cut any of the trees down. It's gonna kind of look like a little triangle area. Uh, just a small, not even an acre. Maybe a quarter or a third of an acre. Uh, put down some of this Harvest Evolve throw and grow. So what we're gonna do today is clean up this area, get the leaves out, get us down to the dirt, clean up some of the thorns and whatnots. And as you can see, the sun's coming up. We get plenty of good light in the morning here. And I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to, you know, help us along for this food plot, get it going for in the spring and summer here. And then we're gonna come along, if it does well, do another one in the uh, fall for the deer to come in here. So we're gonna see how this works. I'll get you step by step as to what we're doing when we're cleaning this up. And then we're gonna check back in this weekly to see how it's growing and uh, see how it does with the rainfall and with the morning sun. I don't think we're gonna get much of the afternoon or evening sun, but at least we'll, we'll do that and we'll kinda let you know how things go and hopefully that'll help with your food plots. We'll see you next time. All right, so let's give you an idea of what we're doing here. This is where we hunted from last year. So we're just gonna go back in this woods here, get some of this thick stuff out. You know, some of these younger saplings we're gonna leave up. I think where the heavy stuff is here. This is what we wanna get out of the way. Stuff like this. Get this. And we're gonna spray up in here also some weed killer so that stuff doesn't come back. And then we'll come back in a couple weeks. We're not gonna till anything, but we're gonna drag it. And with that, then we'll do this throw and grow. We'll see how that works. But yeah, all this stuff gonna take a little bit of time, but we'll get it done. All right, hey everyone. I want to show you what I've been doing here this morning. So as you can see, when we look out, pan out this way, there's your rake and whatnot and the hoe over there, hoe behind the camera, using a grass whip, manual. Just swing it, just like a golf club, a baseball bat. You don't need any power equipment or renting anything. If you got one of these, I don't know, what are they, like 20, 30 bucks at the most? You can take down all this small vegetation I'm gonna go over here and work in this area here while the camera girl keeps an eye on me and show you just how easy it is. Come on along. I would recommend something on your eyes, safety glasses, anything, because when you're swinging this, this is gonna get a little wild and things are gonna go flying. So this is what you're doing here. See how quick and easy that stuff comes out. I mean, small sapling stuff like that, it's gonna come out just as easy. This isn't a sharp blade, so you know, there's no real need to worry about cutting yourself or anybody else. Just keep in mind if you have somebody else near you, don't be swinging in their general direction. So that's all I got for right now, but we'll show you once we get started on the leaf cleaning, okay? See you in a little bit. Let's take I got a backpack back, which is nice for this instead of the handheld. I'm gonna blow some leaves, get them out of the way, and expose the soil to see how everything looks, okay? We've got ear protection because this is gonna get pretty loud. So we'll clear all this area and see what we need to do by hand then to get so many roots or anything out of the way. And uh, then we're gonna spray weed killer on there, okay? See you in a little bit.
So I recruited Ann, the camera girl. She's out helping. We tried to start with a blower. Um, it worked a little bit, but it turns out we're working it by hand now. Got black walnuts, all kinds of stuff on the ground we got to get rid of. So that's the next task. All right, so we just cleared the grounds. So I'm going to kind of give you a little peek as to how everything looks here. You'll see, I don't know how I look here, but everything's off the ground. I mean, we didn't get everything. There's a little leaves here and there. There's some sticks here and there. But for the most part, I mean, when you look at it, you know, it really transformed the place. You can see we're back in there. Took most of the leaves and pushed them out of the way. We got some uh, Roundup here. Looks like it was 41% glyph glyphosate. What we're doing is spraying that over the entire ground now where we're gonna have this food plot. So what we can do is kill off any weeds, let that take effect over the next couple of weeks. And then we can come in here and what I'm gonna do the next time you see me is what we'll do is we're gonna take and rough the ground up a little bit. Cause remember, we're only gonna use this throw and grow and see how it works. There's gonna be no tilling, no anything else. And uh, you know, it's, it's, I know it's early in the spring here. We are in the March, sun's coming through. We still have good, good sunshine on here. I know this is gonna be a morning spot. It'll be changing once the leaves start coming out, but We'll see how it does with the morning sun and see how it grows. And I'll keep you updated every week that I can with that. Anything you want to say there, camera girl? No. All right. Thanks for spraying.